Hey, what's up all my Capricorns? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal. All right, Capricorns. So, uh, I don't know if you have Pisces in your chart, but if you do, definitely go check out their reading. They had the best reading out of these readings. So, I was just going to start off doing a couple of bonus readings uh, for a couple of signs, but some told me to just keep going with all the signs, okay? So, uh, this is for anybody with Capricorn placements in their chart. I'll tell everybody, tarot card readings, I like advice, you either take it or you leave it. Either way, that's fine with me. It may not be a message for you, but it's definitely a message for somebody. Body, okay, so any cards that I use or any information about personal readings is going to be listed in the description box below. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is I got my The Secret Language her Birthday books. Okay, um, so we're just going to open to a random page and see what the message is. Okay, May 14th. Okay, the day of the mo modern irresistibles. No, I said that shit wrong. The day of the modern irrepressibles. Okay, I'm like irresistibles. What the fuck? So, okay, so clearly can't read today. I don't know what's going on. Okay, but it says May 14, people are quick to recognize both present and future opportunities. Definitely, if you got Pisces, go watch that uh, reading. Extremely modern and up to date in their outlook, they may have an eye to how the world will appear one or 200 years from now okay so i'm definitely getting some type of um you guys could be sagittarius capricorn cuspers you could be on the cusp of prophecy um yet they live and work squarely in the present some born on this day display a marked disinterest in the past and largely regard tradition as a collection of bad habits not surprisingly, then, May 14 people are not at all shy about making a break with traditional methods in their field of endeavor. They have more confidence in their own plans than what is written in the book, unless, of course, they have written the book themselves. So maybe you guys are writing something. Maybe you guys are authors. Of course, this energy represents the Taurus. So May 14th. So to me, that is, uh, it breaks down to 10 and then one is the number of completion, okay? Um, in this book, they only break down the actual day. So 14, so it says the 14th, again, temperance energy. So some of you guys might be cuspers. The 14th car of the major arcana is temperance. The figure shown is a guardian angel who protects us and helps us on a, a an even keel. Such a figure can serve as a model for May 14 people. This card cautions against all forms of egotistical excess. Positively seen, temperance modifies passions in order to allow for new truths to be learned and incorporated into one's life. Because temperance may indicate negative qualities of passivity and ineffectiveness, May 14 people may resist um, trendiness and try to establish their own styles techniques and systems of thoughts if people uh, if possible and stick to them with conviction okay so i definitely get somebody who i'm hearing uh and rest in peace um rest in peace takeoff he was a gemini but i'm hearing that migo song we said the trends okay I'm about to call my account to make sure the shit came in. So maybe you guys waiting on a deposit or something. But I definitely see that you guys are like maybe uh, trailblazing or setting a certain path that other people don't. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm hearing like you can't hold a good man down or you can't. Um, I'm hearing can nobody hold me down. Okay, so, and let me look this up too. That's what I was thinking irrepressible meant, but, you know, because uh, repressed and all that. So, it says not able to be controlled or restrained, okay? So, I feel like it's like you're the goat, right? It's like nothing can hold you down. Nothing can hold you back, okay? Um, let's see what's going on. But staying on the okay, because I'm hearing okay, because I was I was hearing uh we set the trends right, but I'm also hearing Jim Jones. But it's two Jim Jones, okay? The Jim Jones we know in the rap industry, right? 
um, the rapper. His birthday is July 15th. So he is a cancer. Okay. But also the other Jim Jones. Ah. Very fucking interesting. He was born on May 13th. Okay. So we pulled May 14th. But he was born on May 13th. Wow. Okay. That's interesting too because my dad's birthday is May 13th. He's a Taurus. But that's neither here nor there. But he died on 11-18. So that day in particular may be of significance for you guys coming up 11-18. But um, let's see. Let's get into y'all reading. That's a lot, right? We <laughs> Six minutes in and we shit. Capricorn, what? so I feel like they want you to stay on the side, the good side, because that's what the devil energy is, right? Um, being able to overcome that devil energy, not be the devil himself, right? Because he was definitely fucking nuts. And I think Tyler Perry got that damn show or something. Um, that like depicts Jim Jones. That shit kind of weird, y'all. I, I don't even. My homegirl got me watching that shit. I, I can't even really watch it. That shit weird. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see what this is all about, y'all. Okay. The universe came out in reverse. So I want to say Aries got this. And uh don't get me to lying. It could have been Libra. Aries and Libra got that. So the universe is, but they actually got it upright. So the universe is in reverse and you have setback and um, five of worlds, the five of pentacles is in reverse. So somebody is coming out of something. However, with the universe being in reverse, I feel like it's outside forces. So know who you're getting your messages from. Know what path, again, know what kind. Because I feel like the universe is like, I'm taking my hands off of this shit. Especially if it's like a, like a positive deity. So just look out for negative, dark, and light entities and deities. You get what I'm saying? But I feel like there is something. So you could be hit with two offers or you could be hit with with two things but one is going down the road of the light and one is going down the road of the dark let's give us one card from this deck the hermit is in reverse okay and then the the nine of swords So I feel like there's a lesson that needs to be learned. So you, maybe you haven't quite learned the lesson or maybe you haven't quite gotten to where you need to be to come all the way out of this setback. Or maybe you're worrying yourself too much or maybe you're putting too much, you're in your mind too much. I feel like somebody, some of you guys have been going through financial setbacks. I'm hearing universe, but I'm also hearing reverse, reverse. Ah, so there could be something like something that's being reversed. If you have Leo in your chart, definitely go watch that. So there could be some type of spell that's reversed. And I feel like you, you're going to kind of figure out who is kind of putting this energy on you. Like somebody is mad because you set in the trends. You you kind of like, you know, you, you can't not, somebody cannot hold you back. And maybe this is them and it's not a source energy. Like they just cannot fucking hold you back. There's nothing. The universe can't stop you. There's nothing that can hold you back. What is this? The five of cups. I feel like some of you guys has just been sad. It's just been a lot of shit going on. The Six of Cups in Reverse, that's Ace of Cups in Reverse energy. Wow. Like, somebody, some of you guys feel alone. Some of you guys feel like you, I mean, you've been doing a lot by yourself. I mean, oh, my God. 
I'm kind of sad, you guys. I'm sorry. Seven of Swords. Some of you guys feel like you've been deceived or whatever the case may be. So maybe that's why it's like you're 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 this Taurus energy, like you're you're getting you're ramming, uh, not ramming, because that's Aries energy, but you're like like you're like you're like a bull in the glass house, you know what I'm saying? Or in a, in a glass shop, you know what I'm saying? A crystal store, however they put it, right? You're that bull and you're like fucking up shit because you need to be free. So I feel like you're, there's some type of suppressed energy. Success. So this was on purpose too. So I feel like you guys saw the dark side of the universe or, you know what I'm saying? It's like the, um, the dark night of the soul. It could be, you guys were just in a really dark negative space. I just felt like you was just like, uh, when will it end? Right. The star. Some of you guys could be Cap Aquarius cuspers. I love it. You are no longer like just running around in circles, fucking up everything in, in the shop, right? Fucking up all the glass and whatever the case may be. You are literally being released by the universe. Like you had to be, you had to go through this because there's like some next level shit, right? But it was like they wanted to see kind of what side you wanted to, you know, um, how can I put it? What side you you were gonna lean towards? Were you were you gonna lean towards that dark energy, or were you gonna stay stay walking in the light? What's five of cups? Six of swords is in reverse. I mean, some shit was just paying over and over and over again. It's like some, I'm telling you, you could not get out of something. It was just like it it was it's crazy. Six of cups in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Every, I mean, family, money, secrets, lovers, friends. It's like your whole life, like shit was just like going haywire. What's the Seven of Swords? The Queen of Cups. What, how you gonna be? How you gonna act? Seven of Cups. What choice are you going to make? Are you going to live on the light side or the dark side? Are you going to kill them with kindness? Or are you going to kill them literally? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you, look, because look at this fox. This fox is like, bro, look. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the way my life's set up right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, they really, or, or would you going to, like, choose love? You know, love or, or darkness? Wh which way were you going to go? What's the, what's the six of... The King of Pentacles is in reverse. Power. It's like kind of releasing yourself, the Three of Pentacles, and letting the universe kind of work. It's kind of like letting go and letting God. Like, like, look, I ain't got nothing to do with this no more. Like, I have nothing else left in me. No more energy for this. What's the star? The two of swords in reverse. Yeah, like just kind of taking your hand out of it and kind of let the in, the universe work for you. You have the four of swords in reverse. It's like um, the six, six, twelve, three of swords. It's twelve, nine. It's three, three of swords. Three of swords in reverse. It's like whatever happened, happened. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you guys are just... It is what it is, right? And I feel like once you took that attitude of I can't help it, I can't control, I can only control me, I can't control everybody else, like kind of rel relinquishing that that need for power and control, I feel like that's when things start to turn around for you or it did or it will. Um, what's the universe in reverse? Why is it in reverse? Ah, it gave me two cards. The cherry is here. And the seven of, of pentacles is here, okay? Choosing the dark side or the light side. And persevering. They want, this is, like, you're talking about a test. Ooh, child, I'm tired for you. You have the high priestess here. 
Are you going to rise above that? Are you going to believe spiritually? What's the hermit in reverse? Six of Pentacles. And what's that here? Nine of Wands, resilience. What's the five of worlds? I'm telling you guys. Oh my God. The sun. The sun. Something shocking is about to happen, but not in a bad way. What's the nine of swords? The moon is in reverse. And then the magician. So I feel like it might be one or two last things that maybe you need to see or maybe you need to experience. But from then that point on, are you got you guys are irrepressible. They and, uh, I'm hearing, and nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up, okay? You can't get no high. I mean, you could get higher than the sun, you know, because there's other galaxies and universes, or, you know, something like that. So maybe you guys are elevating past the sun. Like this, uh, like, shit, major comeback, minor comeback for, a, minor setback for a major comeback, you guys. Like, this shit is huge. Okay. I don't know what's going on. What's at the bottom? The hermit. <laughs> Wisdom, knowledge. Mm. The moon. I mean, are that secret society? Like you've literally ascended. The moon and the sun was hidden, will be revealed. So you will soon see why this path was the way it was like it could not have gone any other way the timing could not have been any more impeccable like it literally like you because you manifested this now in order for you to manifest this there were some things that had to happen right the justice in reverse the hair fine in reverse it was like you you're questioning your faith you're questioning the timing questioning your actions you're questioning your decisions all of that shit let me go Capricorn because I got other things to do, but I'm telling you, it, it's up from here, you guys. So please like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I love this reading for you guys. Um, Like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have, you already know I appreciate it. So until next time, y'all already know what it is. Holla at a play when you see me in the street. Bye.